you've seen in our previous videos, you'd know that we've pulled out a lot of gold from some dirt that we've pulled up from Marty's patch. We've actually got quite a bit more of that. We've got some buckets filled up here. On this video, we're gonna try and clean up the shed here. It's a bit messy at the moment. Lots of crap, lots of rubbish. Try to clear it up, get this sluice set up, maybe set the shaker table up. With a bit of luck, we can maybe pull out a little bit of gold. Before that happens though, we have a lot of work to do. Let's get into it, eh? Most of the rubbish. Now it's just time to start setting up the machinery. I'm just setting up the sluice table, so the shaker table and the sluice box. Got water up the top here. Couple of drums to fill up. There's one, two bulker bags full of that good, rich gold dirt. And then we've got all these buckets as well, and a bunch of rocks to crush up, and all sorts. Let's get into it. <laughs> Set up the classifier, changed it around a little bit. All the fine stuff going straight to the bottom there, and classified three different buckets here. We'll switch it on and show you guys a little bit of it running. As you can hear is the vibrator vibrating all the sand and rocks down. You can see here with the mesh that the fine dirt just falls straight through while the bigger rocks will tumble down and then you'll see in a couple of seconds how we've got it classified then even further into smaller pebbles and bigger rocks so we might have to break up a little bit.
that about the same. Good news. Smaller rocks. Smaller rocks. A little bit of fines run off. 90% of the fines. Good stuff. dodgy at the moment, popped up on a few bricks, but should be alright. We got beautiful stuff. Ready to run through this source. Alrighty, so we've classified just one bog bag there. Into fines, we've got quarters. And all our stuff ready to run through the sluice. Added out our sluice, extra long. You name it, we got it. Fill it up with water. And we'll get this cranking. A little bit of soap into the water. Yep, okay. Been hand fed at the moment by a knife. Uh, we've also have a little frame here, as you know before, we've talked about this before. So, an automatic feeder with a small vibrator on it, which will keep the dirt flowing. But just a little bit of test run. Just a little payday at the end of the day for the day's work. Sort of four. We extended the sluice that we had before, as you can see. And I do have a mirror come out, the uh, gold rack, whatever you call it, which will go into it. Later on, we'll talk like that at the moment, we're just running through the dirt. One of the good things about these high bankers, it gives you time to break up clumps, any lumpy bits like these little bits here get stuck. And it can actually clarify your dirt with it, if you wish to. That's a good idea, Nate. So you can just imagine it had a little vibrator on here, like we had before. That's what it takes like. It doesn't take much movement at all. A little bit of dirt here, a few bucket tools. And then you can sort of see what we got from that. So that's from oh, this part of dirt like this. You can see it's like a full bag, lofty bag, a decent bag. So you see on the kilo, four on kilo maybe? Yeah, it'd be 500 kilos, I'll say. So we get up, 100 kilos, about a quarter, maybe a third. It's a lot of fines, those bits. And they've got a lot of coarse rocks. They all go to the crusher. Big ones there. We've got all those other work. Dirt to process, plus that bag. These buckets of oil, you see, got dirt in them, and concentrates. Okay, just, we don't know about the angle yet, it looks pretty good for water speed. Um, I think it would like a little bit more water going through it. There's that maximum pumping at the moment. We will test this dirt that comes out of the end here. Uh, there will be a in this, especially with soak in the water. 
So we'll test definitely that and just see if there's anything we missed that be in there. Now we'll start getting the overflow soon as you do, of course, because the dirt displaces the um, water. Well, hmm. So we can run before we have to clean it out. Oh, look at that, we got one little nugget right there. That's just the first one. Yeah, we got one nugget there. That's a little nugget, isn't it? That's definitely a little That's nugget. I don't um, know, this is just the first little, first little peak. Yeah. Oh, nice piece, isn't it? Not a bad little piece for a day's work. Let's just see if we can, oh, got him in my hands. It's a picker. Look at that. No, good going. Yeah, hey, one little bit. Put it in the sucker bottle. Alright, how many buckets do you reckon we put through? Ten of these buckets. Ten of those? You reckon ten? I don't reckon we put that many. We're gonna hunt five, five or six, yeah. Of these buckets through. No, no, that's what I mean. Last of it through, chuck some clean water through it. We can clean up the nuts and see what we got. Clean water through. Oh, yep, I see gold right in the corner there. Let's see if I can get zoomed in. Yeah, it's definitely gold. Yep, all along the edge. You can see that right there. It's all gold. So that's probably going to be coming straight through there. That's all really quite heavy stuff. Oh, there we go. Nice little showing. Oh, there you go. There's another picker. Right in there. Okay. Clean it all up, pan all this up, and who knows? All right, cleaning up all the mats. This is our concentrates for our day's work, cleaning, getting rid of all the rubbish. Let's see if I can take that to the tip. Got our water, detergent, okay, it's got it. Why do we use detergent? Surfactant. Surface tension of water down. Surface tension will allow for fine gold to float off. And this will allow the floor to get in the way about that. That's just fine gold adds up to a lot of gold. So a bit of surfactant or you know, any sort of liquid. The best stuff is, um, I think I mentioned before, is dish. Um, what do they call it for? Dish for our washing machines. The rinse aid, that sort of stuff. Because it's low suds. Yep. Lower suds, better again because suds can float
Here's some scraping. Alright, we'll head out in the sun. Have a quick look and see. There's just a handful of that stuff. It wasn't all of it by any means. Oh yeah, that's a little chunk right there. That's a little chunk right there. And it washed down there, there's heaps of coming through. Not the sun that's a chunk right in the middle there. Yeah, gone through. Oh yeah. Need to wash that down a bit more. Should have added. Oh yeah, check that out. That's from the first little handful. See all these little bits. Alright, for our day's work, it'll show us a little show it, pan here. Let's see, spit it out, Let's see what we got. There we go. Look at that, from five buckets of dirt. They're really full, so you'd be lucky if they or 40 kilos of buckets, so. Thanks for watching the video guys, I hope you've enjoyed it. Please remember to like the video and subscribe to our channel so we can continue to bring you great adventures from outback Western Australia. Cheers. Cheers mum. There was once a day that I would pray for you I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too Sneaking looks up and down from across the room Damn, what a hell of a view I feel good, you look great I like you, I can't wait A first time, a first date You're so fine, I'm so late You sit